Okay, so let's talk about implementing these methods, these plotting techniques in Python. We will see, we will study different all of these libraries, uh, matplotlib, pandas, and seaborn, and we will see how we can use each of them to visualize different plotting methods that we have studied. So first of all, we will study about matplotlib and pandas. Importing these for importing this package, we will use the matplotlib.pyplot, which is the Python package, in it, and we will use the alias as plt and for pandas we will use as pd we have seen this so let's consider a data set of vines data set we will read the vines data set from using pandas uh, read csv function and we're going to display the first five rows of this data set so before we move on to visualizing techniques let's study this data set so that we can understand which type of visualization techniques we, sh uh, we should use so we have about 12 features in this data set from using the head function we have seen that uh, most of them are numerical so let's find out that which of them are categorical so the quality feature is categorical and it's quite visible and as the domain knowledge suggests that the quality cannot be continuous factor if we're talking about quality of any beverage and we have other uh, chemical features as well which actually tell us about the constituents of different elements in the wines data set so we have density, we have pH, we have sulfate uh, concentration, we have alcohol concentration, we have chlorides, we have residual sugar. So all of them are numerical features and we can see that. So the only categorical feature over here from which we can see is the quality. So let's talk about visualizing this data set using histogram in matplotlib. The first thing we need to do is we need to set our canvas or grid. So, the f so to do that we will call the plt.subplot function which will enable us to draw many plots in the same figure or canvas. After setting the canvas, then we will plot the histogram using the hist function. And you can see that the hist function is called using the ax, which is our grid or canvas. We will use the, we will call the histogram function and we will specify which column we want to visualize. So we know that we are selecting the quality of column for this. We know that this is a categorical feature and we, in this way we can find out the frequency distribution of the quality column. Uh, for the purpose of studying the distribution of the quality feature, we can learn a lot about the feature about this for this data set. So we will call the canvas function of histogram and we will specify the column we want to visualize. We are selecting quality to visualize the distribution and understand what is the quality of this particular data set of wines. So we will set the title, which will be the title of our plot, and we will set the X and Y label as well. The X label can be specified anything. It has nothing to do with the column we are visualizing. So there is a little bit of mistake over here. That's why you can see we have initialized the X label as pH, but instead we are actually visualizing quality. So we, regardless of what we put over here, you can put anything, any text over here. It does not change the context of the function. After running this particular code, we will see that we will obtain a histogram that tells us about the quality of the data set. After studying the histogram, the distribution seems to be normal because there is the maximum quality lies around between 6 and 7. And so you can say that this form will form a bell curve. So this is a normal distribution. And the second most common value after 6 is 5. And we have no values between 4 and 5. And so we will continue and visualize other features as well. So the thing is, we wrote about a couple of lines of code just to plot a histogram. But when we're talking about plotting histograms in pandas, it's quite concise, simple, and quick because we will just call one function. We will select the column we want to visualize. We will call the plot function. And in the plot function, we will call the histogram function. And in this way, we will quickly visualize the distribution of the quality feature. So when we were talking about the matplotlib being low level, this is what we meant by, and this is when we were talking about the extensive code in matplotlib, this is what we meant because we have to write a lot of code just to obtain one particular plot. Even though the pandas is based on matplotlib, it is interface that makes it a lot easier. So we come to a conclusion that if you're looking for a quick visualization, we will go with pandas. Since matplotlib is too complex, if we want to visualize a density plot, a matplotlib becomes rather difficult. So we will use pandas for that. So in pandas, we need to uh, write this particular code, which tells us that we will call the plot function. We will specify what type of plot you want to 
draw which is the parameter for that is the kind and the subplots which is true and the layout specifically tells us the size of the plot you want to draw in the canvas given the figure size tells us the total figure size or the canvas size on which you want to have multiple subplots for now we will only visualize one feature that's why we are only going with one plot so density plot in seaborn is also quite concise and quick because in the pandas you have to provide a lot of information so in the density before visualizing density plot in seaborn it's uh, even easier than pandas it's concise it's quick for that you just have to call the dist plot of sns and which is the alias for seaborn and we will specify the data type the data values we want to visualize in x and then we will specify the histogram function to be false and uh, the rug function should be true so the rug function what it does is that if you can see these parallel lines on the bottom just above the axis that is when you use the rug function for visualizing box plot in seaborn we will call the box plot function and we will specify x the value column we want to visualize and then the data is white and which is tells us that we will have a white background using this uh, we will import seaborn and the alias will be sns and the x quantity over here the x value tells us which value you want to visualize on which axis so the if we want to have the quality on the x axis we will use that and let's talk about plotting uh, using seaborn so first of all we need to import seaborn as sns and which is the alias then we will call the box plot function and the x will specify the column you want to visualize and it will be basically the value on the you can say the value on the x-axis will be displayed but with the x feature and the data will is the data frame you want to visualize and the bar plot in seaborn is the same you just have to call the count plot function and the quality is specified using the x and the data uh, is specified in the uh, data frame section and so it's quite simple as you can see seaborn is quite simple it is even simpler than pandas so the scatter plot in seaborn in which we want to visualize numerical versus numerical we will also have to specify the y axis along with the x axis in the y axis we will have the ph and the on the x axis we will have the alcohol since both of these uh, features are numerical so that we can visualize them using the scatter plot and this is the function and the syntax for that and for you visualizing categorical versus numerical it is becomes quite easy because every time you, every type of plot you want to visualize you just call that plot and specify the x and y values and after that it is simple as abc so the points to remember and to take away from this lecture is that the first step is to identify the data types of every variable and after that you have to uh, choose the appropriate visualization according to the data type of variable and after the plotting you will study the distribution and then extract insights and you have to practice and keep on practicing so that you can further understand and you, with practice and experience just after plotting and studying the looking at the uh, distribution you can extract insights and come to conclusions which is rather good